Welcome everybody to the daily chizuk as we continue to give each other chizuk because the more I give chizuk, the more I'm getting it back. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, we know we put into practice a lot of the ideals, the Torah, the mitzvot that we have in us is all coming out now. The more we've built ourselves up, for example, in the way we raise our children and the more we invested in learning how to do it, Alpi Torah and mitzvot, the better we're seeing our relationships with our children in this difficult time. The same thing with our spouses. The more we worked on our marriage, worked on the proper ideas, worked on the proper kavod to give our spouse. So now when there's a stressful time and we're spending a, a tremendous amount of time together, we're seeing, you know, we're seeing where we're holding and we're seeing the fruits of all of our labor. But it's so important to realize that all that we learn is there so that we could institute it in our lives and become different people. Please listen to this story and hopefully you'll get this message. There was a rabbi called Reb Zusha. Now Reb Zusha, he went into the shul one day and he came to a town, he comes into the shul and he says, please somebody help me, I need help. I need to raise some money for a very important cause. Hey, get out of here, we're learning Torah now, we're learning Gemara, if you want to learn, you can learn, but if not, get out of here, bye. He said, everybody listen up, I'm gonna tell you a story. And I guess some people listen to the story. There was a man, named Getzel the Gavir. His name was Getzel, and a Gavir means a very wealthy person, a very, you know, substantially wealthy person. And Getzel the Gavir one time walked into the shul, and he was wearing this unbelievable coat. I mean, this coat, gorgeous, with a nice fur collar. Wow, it was gorgeous. And everybody was like, wow. And there was a guy there. His name was Peretz the Pauper. Obviously, he was a pauper. And he's like, I don't understand. Everybody is giving him so much honor what, for that jacket because he has some fur on his collar. I'm going to get that same jacket and they're going to give me the same honor. And sure enough, he went home. He took all his belongings, his last belongings. He was so poor, but anything he had, everything, his fridge, his items, his food, his, you name it. The cufflinks he got when he got married, you name it. He sold it all. He goes to the tailor. He says, I like a new coat. Okay, you know, do you have money to pay for this? You know, your, your parrot's the pauper. You don't have too much money now. He goes, I have the money. I have the money. And he says, I want it to be beautiful. Wool. And I want nice, a nice fur collar. Sure enough, he gets it. And he strides into the shul. And he's like, I am here, baby. He looks around and he's waiting for everybody to like, you know, be like, ooh, ah, give him respect. Like they give to the, to the gvir, to get to the gvir. Everybody's laughing at him. What are you doing, parrots? What are you doing? <laughs> They're just laughing at him. Like, what? Why is everybody laughing at me? I'm wearing the same coat as Getzel the Gvir. They're like, you don't get it. The Getzel the Gvir had a beautiful three-piece custom-made suit, gorgeous shoes, polished haircut, a perfect beard, Everything was gorgeous and perfect. Everything was to the T. So yeah, that jacket on him was very, very, very impressive. But look, you're a bum. <laughs> you're wearing torn shoes, torn, I mean, and you put the jacket on, it just doesn't fit. Rab Zusha said, let me tell you something. A person may go after 120 years to Shamayim and say, ah, I learned a lot of Torah. Yes, that beautiful jacket with the fur. But if he doesn't have everything else to go with it, the midot tovot, smiling at people, building people up, helping those around them, doing chesed, putting it into practice, being excited to doing mitzvot, saying every word, you name, go through all the mitzvot. Then he just has the jacket without everything else. He's like Peretz the pauper. And I remember, and I'm sorry to go overboard a little bit here, but I remember clearly being in Kolel one time and I was learning, and I got a call. Someone came in and said, your mother's calling, she has a toothache. I said, I don't know, I went to the head of the kolel. I said, I don't know, should I, should I take her to the dentist? Should I take her later? And he told me a beautiful line. He said, if you don't close your gemara right now and take your mother to the dentist, then your gemara was never opened in the first place. Get out of here. Now's the time to put into practice everything we're learning, but also we have so much time to learn to have more to put into practice in the future. I hope you enjoy the chizuk. 
If you, anyone needs any special chizuk, needs to call, needs someone to talk to, 917-805-5444. We are all in this together. Have a great day.